Today's episode is sponsored to you by A&H Provisions. Meat and hot dogs that are so good, even Goyim understand how amazing they are. It's the next level of kosher food, and the website is kosherdogs.net. Get yours, enjoy them, a and Provisions. recording hi 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 everyone would you like to set the scene modi yes we are in fort lauderdale for those of you who don't know for those of you who know the florida area if you're driving up 95 let's not give too specific details as to where exactly we're staying no we'll be far gone well, you by the time. we'll be far gone <laughs> okay. when this thing is airing you're gonna we're dox a us on called, here we're in a place called shady banks shady oh wow we're getting really specific a little mute button um, where's, uh, we're in a place called Shady Banks and no, it's not owned by Jews. Nothing on that one? No. No. Oh, okay. I, it. I liked <laughs> it. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's Shady Banks and it's literally when you're driving up 95 to get to, from Miami to Palm Beach. If you look where it says Davy, you look to the, to the right, you see all those yachts and the marina getting fixed. We are across from that. We have a view that is absolutely stunning. Yeah. We have a pool, a jacuzzi. We have the this intercoastal that goes into a marina. It and is, more importantly, we have Periel with us, who flew down from New York. Periel came down. Hi. To, hi. Oh, my God. How much fun. We've had guests. My parents have been here. Um, but that we'll get to that later. We are basically, we flew you down because we need to discuss a very important issue that has happened since last we've aired, which is yes. the, the, the Variety article. The Variety article. It's what everyone is talking about. By everyone you mean? Everyone I know. I can't <laughs> stop getting messages about it. Okay. Would you like to elaborate? Okay. So we we are uh, discussing the, the Variety piece is that, isn't that, isn't that how they refer article to it? yeah article um that came out last week yeah which was uh what was the title do you remember the title i will read the title thank you for reading the title hold you on you can go to my instagram page and scroll down a few squares and you'll see the title was the most i think the title alone could just live and you can take the rest of the article out okay <laughs> it's ready? so good the title go ahead and the title is Modi Rosenfeld, gay Jewish. Modi Rosenfeld, <laughs> gay Jewish comedian, talks Mashiach energy, celebrating Shabbat, and comparisons to Richard. Oh my God. Modi Rosenfeld, <laughs> gay. <laughs> take four. Modi Rosenfeld, gay Jewish comedian, talks Mashiach energy, celebrating Shabbat, and comparisons to Robin Williams and Richard Pryor. Folks, yes. folks. And we should start with the important part there. Comparison to Richard Pryor <laughs> and, and Robin, uh, Williams. Robin Williams. And how did that happen? What happened was we did, we did four shows at the Laugh Factory. With Jamie Masada there. Who's the Jamie, owner? Who's the owner? Jamie Masada is the owner, and he has been doing comedy for, for, not doing, has had a venue for comedy that's iconic, uh, the Laugh Factory on Sunset Boulevard, and... Um, great room. Great room for 44 years. Many of the big ones began there. Richard Pryor performed there. All, all the com Every comedian has performed there. It is a staple of comedy in... In L.A. And Jamie, I, when I lived my three years in L.A., Jamie was always a fan, always put me on. It was the Jew. He was, Jamie's, Jamie's a Persian Jew and has like the most like, his accent is almost a caricature of a Persian Jew. Buddy, how are you doing? You're going to do a show for us. I pay you, do three shows. I pay you for two. But this way you get all that people inside. Um, and, I, and I don't usually do Persian. Jamie watched... 
the last time I was in LA and then this time and he's sitting with his friends and he's sitting in the audience and the audience was, it was, the shows were yeah. magical. The shows were Mashiach energy. The room energy. was lit. Lit. And he, at the end, spoke with the journalist and Whose said Whose name is Melina Saval, who we should credit her for the article. I was going to do a whole thing about her okay. and alone, but Melina Saval and so he spoke to her and he just said out of nowhere he just goes you know i've been doing comedy 44 years i've never seen an audience erupt the way modi makes them erupt to the you know except for richard pryor and robin williams wow. Wow. so he wasn't saying i'm a richard pryor robin williams but what i create in the audience that energy and that was such a, a compliment and she's so smart for, for quoting him instead of making it her quote because uh, who is she? She's a journalist. Right. He's the guy that's an expert in comedy and has seen comedy in, uh, in 44 years. He's seen it evolve. He's and, seen a lot of stuff. Yeah. Now, did you know that he said that or did that title like floor you? No. Well, J Jamie is, J Jamie is amazing guy, but Jamie is like this car is the, it's a character and, and he'll drop that he's doing 44 years of comedy at any given moment and what honors he's been receiving and what, what awards he's gotten and how he's helped all these comedians that have been through, like, when they get Me Too'd. And so I saw him approaching Melina. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, I, let me see where this goes. And I said, Jamie, this is Melina from Variety. And he just said, I will tell you, darling, Modi, make the audience laugh. I have the worst person. Yeah, uh, just drop, just the, drop accent. the accent. Um, and that's how that whole happened. That's how that, how, that's how that quote happened. I love it. Yeah. But the article also says that uh, Mashiach, energy, Shabbat, and gay. And she wrote about me being gay. Yeah. And um, we put the article up and like within 15 minutes, 500 comments. 99.999% amazing. Mm -hmm. And a few nut jobs, right? Yeah. Which you dealt with. Yeah. And yeah. by dealt with, you mean? I blocked a lot of them. You didn't eviscerate any of them? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't use the word eviscerate. <laughs> um, I have dialed back my uh, combativeness in the comments. Oh. Because... I had a few, I had a few one eighties with people where they did come around, and that was satisfying enough to where I'm kind of in the position where like I can't save all of them, you know, you can't <laughs> save everyone. But you're um, also now you're in the article. It's yes, not like I Modi's was name gay, dropped Modi in the has article. A husband named Leo, so they're coming for him too. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was, it's been interesting uh, to have my name in the article as well. Um, and you probably even, and now he has like another thousand followers of women named of Hani Rifki, Hani and Sarah Bimmy and which and I love all of you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, and Thanks for coming to my page. And they're all, <laughs> all you know, welcome. with the shade hole, the long dress, the long sleeves and five kids all dressed in the same outfit, which is my favorite thing about which is religious now, women. So I just want to talk quickly about how the article came to be. Yeah. So obviously if you haven't put together by now, most of Modi's social media is run by yours truly. Um, and every once in a while, I'll just like pay, you know, go over things with a fine tooth comb. You know, who's who's following, who's commenting, like really look at, you know, some of the people. Um, and I noticed this one person had liked a lot of your posts, uh, you know, consecutively in a row and uh, followed you. So I took a look at her profile and it was Melina. And she looked super nice and she, like I said, she liked all your stuff and her bio on her Instagram says that she works for Variety. So I DM'd her from my personal account, not from your account. Okay. And I said, hi, my name is Leo. I'm Leo, I'm Modi's husband. Uh, I see that you're, you know, you work at Variety. I think there's a piece here to be had, to be written because as you know, you know, like most of Modi's audience is Jewish and I don't think a lot of them know that he's gay, let alone married to a man and she said okay let me think about it and uh a few weeks before we went to la for that round of shows which is in november right november were yeah shows? november shows yeah she said okay confirmed the editorial team said we're good to go i'll be at the show 
She and came. We, we, we had the dinner with her at the Pandering. The night before, yeah. With her... Um, she it, she works in like a form of like almost in chaos, kind of like she's talking a lot and moving and coming and going and her kids and that. But she, you can tell that there is like this genius brain in there. And she, we spoke to her. And then the following night, she came to the show with her friends, you know. And so she had the time of her life. And she they were really good together. shows. And it's it's one of these things now like that happens where. A producer approaches me or somebody to, to do a project and they had no idea I was gay. So they're like, oh, I'm so excited about this. The, the way you approach the Jewish community and this and that. And then we drop on them that I also have a husband and I'm gay. And, and they, they're they like, what? And she was one of those. She was at first, she had no idea, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I, I guess unless you listen to the podcast, you don't really know that Leo's my husband. Yeah, right? there, that was interesting in the comments when we posted the article. There was someone... Uh, who said, if you've been listening to the podcast, this isn't a surprise. For all of you who are surprised, like, welcome, basically, right. which yeah. was funny. Because somebody said um, they were, like, shocked or they couldn't believe it. And then, like, all these other people started saying exactly that. Yeah. So, but And then they're like, I do listen to the podcast. And I wrote, apparently, not yeah. very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you were also answering all the... All the and uh, Leo got a marriage proposal for a nice. What did what did somebody offer? Oh, last night. Yeah, that was someone commented on an old clip asking oh, if I uh, was available because they had a nice ashki for me. Their well, words, not mine. We it's kind of our fault too because we we put up little clips that are mm-hmm. great. Leo and you guys pick out amazing clips. So people think that I watch the clips of the podcast, so I'm watching the podcast. Right. Yeah. And that's they don't what get like what what's you know like before that. Um, so, so, so this piece is out. How do you feel? I, I love it. I, uh, I'm first of all, a big fat Yishikoyach to Leo because Leo knew that it needed to be official me being out because I've been working years now where if anybody asks me, are you gay? I say, yes, but I, but you don't I, talk about, I don't come out and go, hi, I'm gay. I'm here to do a show. <laughs> <laughs> hi. <laughs> Hi! Jazz hands, jazz, jazz hands, hands. Jazz hands. Ta da 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 No, I don't do that. I come to do a show and again, know your audience. I see what they need. Um, for I did I did a few shows here. I, I've done, oh my God, we've done like nine shows here already. But yeah. sometimes I just don't do the game material because it's just not what they, they need. Right. And so so when it, so I feel like I've been out. Because if anybody ever asked me, are you gay? I say yes. Let's go do the show and be done with it. But that has, how often has that happened? Not, r- not often. But most time people know. People who've hired me for events over and over and over and they know me and I show up with you. Well, and we're both wedding wedding bands that are like, literally it, our wedding bands are like uh, a Michelin tire in gold. And it's the same one. So they know. Yeah. I mean, I feel <clears throat> like the two of you gallivant around usually together. The word gallivant. You like it or you don't like it? <laughs> I like it. I'll take it. <laughs> and you're always together and you're wearing matching wedding rings. Oh, but people were taken aback. Even so, people were surprised. People, oh. There were people who did not catch. But, but again, 99.9%, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy you're happy. It's so great to see this article. And Variety, so I, my point was, we knew we had to be officially kind of out. But Leo took control of the narrative. Mm-hmm. He didn't wait for some for some schleckysblog.com schlecky so some one of, one of those Jewish ultra right things. By the way, did you know that Modi's gay and he's that's an abomination? All that horrible stuff. He said, no, no, no. If we're coming out, it's going to be hot. Mm-hmm. And in Variety, it's hot. Keep it hot, folks. Keep it hot, exactly. And uh, I cannot thank uh, M- 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 Melina enough. Melina, yep. She you really. Also- Sorry, you also got uh, some really beautiful messages from other people saying thank you, right? A lot, yeah. I mean, if you want, we a lot of DMs. DMs came across the board from Orthodox people all over the world that were going through it. Um, They identified with what you said. They they felt empowered. They um, they realized a lot of them said, "Yes, I can still be an Orthodox Jew and be proud." 
And um, and in another article, I, I said, uh, I said, be a proud Jew and be you. So go do your Shabbat, go do your tefillin, go do whatever it is, go be a good person, go do mitzvahs, but also be you, you know? It, it's, uh, you, you know what I think about? You know, people, when they come out to their parents, you know, you come out to your parents and then the parents are like, they freak or they, or whatever they do. One of the biggest mitzvahs in the Jewish religion is to be besimcha. It, there's like, there's a song, it's mitzvah gedola, liyot besimcha, liyot besimcha. You guys don't know it? No. Okay, never mind. I haven't heard. Um, Mitzvah gedola liot besimcha. It's a huge. It's not, 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 not just a mitzvah. It's a mitzvah gedola. It's a big, big one mitzvah. to be besimcha in, right? in happiness. In happiness. And so when your kid comes to you and says, "Look, I'm gay," after you say, "I love you," the second thing you should say is, "What's going to make you happy? What's going to make you happy? Is it us?" going to some parade and marching with a P flag, whatever it is, or is it just... No thanks. No thanks, right? I mean, I don't know my mom. <laughs> oh my God. Parade, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Why? That's nice to have your... If you're a person who likes to go to the pride parade and having if your that, parents there right, could be a big deal. I'm just saying, when, you, when your kid comes out to you, you should ask, what's going to make you happy? Okay. Because if you're not happy, that's not what my parents said, folks. Neither but mine, that's a different but, but, podcast. But I'm saying, but now, but now it's 2023. It's a different world. When your kid comes to you and says, "I'm gay," at what will make you happy? Because if the kid's not happy, you can't function as a Jew. You can't function. You have to be happy as a Jew to show function. them bias, bite. show them bias, all that stuff. But I'm just saying, <gasps> you, you can't do mitzvahs if you're depressed. Well, all it, it, you can't. So if you're suicidal, you can't be a good Jew. You understand? That's that's so ask your kid what will make you happy. So first of all, I feel like you guys need to immediately have children. No, no. Because that's not going to make us happy. That's not going to make That's not going to make you happy. That's not going to make us happy. That's not going to make anyone happy. And, and people, we have friends. We have friends who have kids and they want kids and they love kids. And we have friends who had kids like, like it was an accessory. I, I, if that makes you happy to have a kid, gesundte hate have a kid. We are at a point where uh, our kid I think is comedy. Our kid is comedy. Right. So I think that as a mom, though, that it they always say that you're only as happy as your most unhappy child. Wow. Um, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, and so yeah. I think that your job as a mom, I mean, as a parent is yes like exactly that and you're saying it's 2023 but for some people that doesn't matter all over the world i think that mm. they can't do that their parents aren't saying that so, to this, them. so this so this message is to the parents yes not to the people that's right the parents when your kid comes to you and says i'm gay the first thing is is i love you and then it's what will make you happy Right, that's your job Agreed. as right. a parent. Right, not, not what will make the parent happy. Correct. I want you to go to psychiatrists that are going to mess up your brain and tell you mm -hmm. that you're really straight and mm -hmm. all that. What will make you happy? That, that is, is what you come to, to, to the kids with. And this article, I'm so happy, was, was able to make um, people like, I've been watching you, I had no idea you were gay. I'm gay, and it's, it's great. And, uh, and, and thank you for being visible. That. I guess so, yeah. I mean, yeah. I saw a bunch of those, too. And the follow-up article to the Variety piece was in the Jewish Telegraphic Agency, and it said, um, you know, something like, Modi fixture in the Orthodox Jewish community is gay, comma, so what? So what? Uh, yeah. Which was she wrote nice. The article. Jackie. Shout J out to Jackie. Shout out to Jackie. She wrote out this article, and she literally, the article is the size of a Gomorrah. Yeah, it's a it long, is the longest long article. article. I literally had to take a break and go back to reading it. They, with my ADHD. And, and they embedded a picture from my Instagram profile into the article online. So that's one where, of the hottest pictures we have of you, yeah. with each other. It was amazing. What's the headline exactly? What's the headline there? Jewish, Jewish comedian Modi Rosenfeld, a mainstay for Orthodox audiences, is gay. So what? Yeah, so what? It's a great headline, too. Both yeah. good headlines. Both good headlines. You can't ask for anything. But a lot of comments were asking how we met and what our deal was, et cetera, et cetera. Well, they're going to... We met on, on mm. J-Swipe. Mm. 
want to save that? I'm kidding. No. <laughs> so what? Aren't we working on something here? You can't give it all away on the podcast. Oh. oh, oh, oh all right, a little that? bit. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> okay. Well, you're going to have to guide <laughs> yeah, well, the con- you, you, you have to you guide the conversation. Over. You guide the conversation. We Why? met through Mashiach energy. That's how we met. Mashiach yeah. energy. I, I, I mean, I, I wasn't tapped into Mashiach energy at the time. You were always tapped into Mashiach energy. I think you just had a different uh, journey to discovering it. Maybe. No, no. He was tapped into. Uh, <laughs> he is. Um, he he's definitely on Mashiach energy and brought Mashiach energy out on me in me and producing these shows. What, what One of the things that makes me the happiest about this article is that they know there's a Leo. Because you know what it's like when he's standing next to me and someone comes over and says to me, your videos got me through COVID. What I had literally, if we had to do percentage-wise what, what had to happen for those videos to happen, I'm in 30%. Leo did 70%. I own 51% of this company. <laughs> right, right. No, literally. He, no, in, the I middle just, of, in the middle of COVID, we're in the house. He's like, go take a shower. We're making a video. And then videos became coming out and then ideas and, and making them, you know. And Yoily and, and here. Yoily. If people knew that Leo was the main idea behind, not the main idea behind Yoily, but like. He literally, when, when I was there, when I was there saying or, or doing the Yoli videos, he goes, no, that's not how Yoli would say. He goes, if you do that, he would like literally be directing me. And then obviously putting it up online in a way that's covered dick. That's like an honor. Not, not like some horrible schlechy video that someone just throws up. Yeah. Yep. Nobody um, is disputing Leo's genius. No, but at least now they Common know. Common thread cause, here. Because I can't tell you how... It, it, what's it called? Backstage? What's it called? Back... Behind the scenes. Backstage. And now he's not so behind the scenes. So my favorite thing is that I know that your favorite thing is Leo. And mm-hmm. so I love seeing you be so happy that everybody knows that he gets so much credit. Because I feel like that's the first thing you always do is when somebody says that you're right, it's all Leo. It's I all know, which is a lot because you do... Uh, you do a little uh, Yeah, loaded. you're the product yeah. here. I mean, I, I'm I need a microphone. <laughs> I need a microphone or a red light. That's all I need. Although to at go this on. point, I I could go on stage and do your act. Probably but we we had no, you couldn't. But um, <laughs> but you you know it. You know it. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is when he would start by telling you about fundraisers he does. No, but we 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 had that. The last episode was with L11. Yeah, and then. We talked about all those songs, yeah. And then I, I made a playlist. I couldn't sleep one night. I Modi of his own volition made a playlist on I Spotify. Made a playlist of all the songs we spoke about, and put it together. And people wrote. Now people are like, Leo, thank you for putting this together because they now think <laughs> I do not. They think I literally. I think I'm some like you know. Wait, did you make a list or did you actually go on Spotify? Oh, he, he, I went on Spotify and put it into a playlist and I named it. Wow. And here's Modi episode sixty two. Wow. And, blah, 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 blah. and then no, Leo, Modi knows how to use Spotify. Modi knows knows how to use the things he likes to use. Yeah. <laughs> uh, things he doesn't like to use, he doesn't know how to use them. Yeah, but we uh, uh, anyway. So now that's one of my favorite things about the whole article, and what. No, just back to back to when you guys first met. You said something many, many, or maybe we never even aired it. Was that how did you know that Modi had three things that you always knew that were the three most important things for oh. the person you were looking for? So, do you I, know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. I know you. Do. I know. Of course, I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, I'm not. I, I, in terms of like manifesting and, you know, like visualizing and, and those sort of like new agey spiritual things, I'm not 100% there. But before I met Modi, like right before I met Modi, I did have a moment. I was, I remember clearly I was driving in my car and I had actually just gone through like a breakup of sorts. And I was like, okay, my, my the next person that I'm with, uh, they need to be three things. Uh, they need to be funny. They need to be spiritual. And I would like for them to be culturally different from me in some way, not in a way to be like exotic or like something, uh, just something that I could 
learn from, I think, is what I was trying to say. Um, so, different from him, culturally, spiritual, and funny. If we were in Vegas and that thing go ding, 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 <laughs> all three lemons. So I got an Israeli three, Jewish whatever. comedian. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. The Israeli Jewish comedian. Right. And uh, and so that that's, you manifested it. I and said that out loud to myself alone in my car. But you see how that's, saying things like that yeah. manifests things. You, we, we've lived together almost eight years. You see me. We have lived together Saying eight years. that. And it, People it think happens. that I just showed up in like uh like corrupted you in some way someone sent me a message <gasps> when the article came out yeah. that was really nasty something something and leave well enough alone he, you're gonna ruin his life or something like that oh. what, it was yeah. like th that's the point oh one percent there was one it was literally two yeah. two people no, that i was crazy. sick all day that article came out i was sick to my stomach why it was just it's you're you feel so vulnerable like this whole article about like your personal life is on line like that with like and, and the follow-up picture had the follow-up article had pictures of us like it's just a crazy feeling to be like ex it was like it's just a very exposed feeling but those pictures have been living on instagram with like hundreds of thousands of followers for hundreds of thousands of followers on oh oh that was from your yeah oh that yeah. my personal instagram mm. yeah, yeah. And, I, and my I, just my name to be in the in the variety piece, people did look me up. Yeah, um, I felt very vulnerable by the picture of me in a mask with Rabbi Manus Friedman. Oh, <laughs> oh man, when you were the masks, <laughs> when you were your, your yeah, dumb Jackie man. took some uh, liberties with the embedded media oh, in her article. There were a lot of me. screenshots from this podcast. There were some pictures from my Instagram. Um, but is your your account's public? My account is public, but like you know. There's a difference between it being public and whoever follows it follows it, and then you know there's and then people online just being able to look me up now right. or click directly through into my no, but I but first life. of all he handles it. If you if I sit down, I go okay, okay, it's the part of the day I'm gonna sit down and look at Instagram. <laughs> I don't look at that the whole day. I sit down, let me see what's happening, <laughs> how many views I have, all these things. He li literally while walking to the car is no not cla clear block that thing that yeah. thing, and all the comments oh yeah this one more needs to see this one more he shouldn't um, see listen and so it's much easier for him to control it yeah he's so running a very serious operation tight, I, tight ship tight ship um i kind of had some remorse about um blocking so many people online recently and then i've had a turnaround and i no longer feel remorse because of something that <laughs> yeah. um Zach Zimmerman, a former yeah. guest of the podcast yes, and, and comedian, uh, whose book is coming out soon. Um, he tweeted something that was really funny that said, um, social, it, and I'm going to butcher this a little bit, but he said, social media is my playground and I'm not going to let you piss in it. Mm. Or wow. Something like that. And I was like, that's true. This is my little bubble, my little corner of the internet. If you want to come in here and be yeah. a dick, you're going to get kicked off. No, you, so you're blocked. Like, uh, yeah. I made a video wearing uh, this, um, the, the, what's it called? The Lacosta brown uh, velvet, like 70s shirt mm -hmm. saying, hey, everybody, I made a Spotify list for this, da, 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 and for, the, for the podcast we do with L11. And then someone wrote, you are, as, you are gay AF. And so even to like, block, done. Take no, off. It's then just so I don't easy. know if you saw this one, but someone wrote, you should throw that shirt away, and I blocked them too. Oh, my God. No, you did? Yeah. Patty. Oh, no, that I wouldn't mind. That's No, because if you feel the need to be... Yeah, don't be rude. Don't be just nasty. don't be rude. And if you think you're being funny, add a LOL or a ha ha right. or something. Right. Right. Don't, right. don't critique someone's outfit. On. We don't know you. Again. We don't again, know you. You're either bringing Mashiach energy or, or preventing it. So think of when you text. If I have to stop doing? and think, are they joking and they're being an asshole? I'm going to go with you being an asshole and you're getting blocked. Yeah. Yeah, I but mean, and he doesn't play around with that block button. <laughs> I don't. No, no he doesn't. I'm he like, look at the block, 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 block. You used to not. You used to like, let me go back. No, you've been saying to... Okay. okay whatever. So let's whatever. not talk about that. Just be nice. That. Just be nice. Or Just shut up. be nice. So I did manifest Hydrate, you. Hydrate, moisturize, and be nice. That's all the three things you really need to do. Is that, So we've been together eight years now. Kanai Nahara. Married for two. Two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. And how has it been so far? Um, Any 
feedback? Any uh, I'm, I, comments? I, could, I couldn't Yelp be reviews? happier. I was from the day, from day one. Yeah, you always say that, and I have to remind <laughs> you that's not how marriage works. What do you mean? You're always like, I felt like we were married from day one. Well, you moved in, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, and it was. Yeah, but that's not married. I I don't know. To me, it was that was it. A piece of paper that says our names on it. Oh, okay, but we are. I felt when you moved in and I said, this is somebody that's in my life and in my room, you know, this was in I your think, face. By the way, in Torah, in Talmud, when people live together, they're married. Yeah. Just so you in know, the state just of New so, York, I don't think that's how that works. No, but okay. But, but again, in a spiritual sense, mm -hmm. you're, you are together. So okay. you knew when he moved in, like that was it, like you were done. There's people you meet right away, you know. I met Leo right away by the second day. I said, oh, this is, this is somebody that's in my life forever. When I met Dina in college, I, we met right away. There was just this connection like, okay, let's talk about, I said, oh, this is someone that's in my life forever. Mm. It's, it's an energy that, that, you, that you have, no? The first time we hung out, I said to you, well, I think I'm gonna be here a lot. Yes. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. yeah. He was doing an internship at CAA and uh, living in one of the dorms, and he was in my apartment, and... Needless to say, I didn't go back to the dorm. He was like, I think this apartment is a lot and nicer than the dorm. I'll add one more thing to make it a little more edgy. We weren't dressed when he said those comments. Ooh, uh, whoa! No. That was your disclosure, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> we are sitting here just oh, so people... A giant know. yacht is going <laughs> the by. The second he said that. These massive yachts are going by. Um, it's so nice to I, watch all it's day. It's so nice to watch all day. It's a Florida gives it to you. The next episode will be about it. But, yeah, we're going to dissect but, Florida a little um, bit. Anyway, we at this point you just thank. What? Well, go ahead. No, I just have a few follow up questions here. Let's go. So oh you God. said. So you said. I think I'm going to be here a while and a lot, a lot, a lot. Those yeah. are the words. And I it wasn't be just because the apartment was so much nicer than your dorm room. No, the vibe was right. And the apartment was not so great at the time. <laughs> Let's be. <laughs> It was that no you <laughs> miserable little. I'm kidding. I had them. I, I sent you a picture recently. I know of me. it was How very was nice. That it was very, I had nice. the very one cute. bedroom. I've been there. No, no, no. The, I had a one bedroom when Leo and I met. I had a one bedroom, at a one bedroom, and then I owned the one next door. I know. I was there. Which I didn't know about. Yeah, you didn't right. know I owned it, but my apartment I, was decorated. You never Miles, told me that. Miles Red helped me decorate. I had this beautiful wallpaper on. Everything was mid-century modern. Everything was gorgeous. It was a beautiful one-bedroom apartment, 800 square feet in Manhattan, okay? Don't you remember so, that was the first time we met? I, I no, interviewed you. No, you interviewed me. I already broke through. Are uh, you kidding me? Um, no. I already broke through. Okay, the so apartment it, was gorgeous. I, I got really fired up there. The apartment was gorgeous. It was still it was a gorgeous one bedroom apartment. What, then, but I kind of. So wait, how much what, can I? What, what were you? Were you had you, you said that you'd gone you'd gone through a breakup, so you had been in like a long term relationship before. Yeah. In college, yeah. And you had you been in a long term relationship before? Mm, not really, no. Okay. That's not true. I mean. You have. I have, but it wasn't like you I just, was. Just I was because you didn't like it doesn't mean it didn't I, happen. No, no, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. That's a completely not true statement you I'm just joking. made. I'm joking. I liked it very much. I was ready to go further. The other person wasn't. So. So it did happen. So it was. It, it, yeah, but it, but it didn't. It, what's long term relationship? It didn't have legs. It didn't have legs. That's what it was. I it came in running. Legs. Let's just say that. This one came in running with the baton. Sprinting. In those shorts with that little tushy of his. Little, the short shorts from back in the 80s. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, and that's how it was. And that body. Yeah. This <laughs> body was covered by a horrible Banana Republic shirt when we met. For the first oh, time. When, he, when we met, he was, first of all, when we met, met. Um, at first, we, when we were cruising each other, I, I didn't think he was gay. He was dressed like a regular. Isn't that funny? That's the funniest like part of the regular. whole podcast. <laughs> he was like, it was like, you know, regular. all of this like Banana Republic stuff and, and everything. I looked like I was about to like, I don't know. 
I looked like moved, a bank teller. When he moved <laughs> in, when he moved in, he just started wearing all my clothes. He didn't go yeah. get his clothes. No. Nope. So it was, um, and he wasn't as, do you ever see those, those Instagram videos? Show us your dog when he was a puppy. And then show us your dog now. Mm -hmm. It'll boom. Yeah. You know, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, his pictures of Leo, there's like, you know, all, always cut and lean and all that. But then boom, <laughs> it comes right out. <laughs> yeah. And you knew he was gay immediately? Um, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to say something also a little cheesy. Yeah. But like. The way you, I will never forget the way you looked at me the first time. You did this little thing with your neck. You kind of like smiled and like threw your head back. You're like, oh, yeah. and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I think I know this person. Like from a, a different lifetime. Like mm -hmm. I know this person. Like you looked at me like we were friends already. And that's why I was like, what is going on here? It was more like this, like, does he owe me money? <laughs> No, no, just kidding. We uh, we right away. Yeah, and then we... And then we're not going to give away too much. But right. And then you took him to the cellar, right? You yeah, took him first. You want to take the whole story away? Well, no. I mean, that's Yeah, I don't really know what parts you want to avoid. Yeah. What I parts you're controlling the other project. We already skipped over, like, kind of, like, a lot of the details that will be disclosed at mm -hmm. a later point. Yeah. But we... This, uh, is, this part's okay, though. But then... Um, you didn't tell him you were a comic. No, I did not uh, tell him I was a comic. And you also told me that your name was Matt. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't remember that. You didn't give me a full. I, I don't re actually really remember. Yeah. But you, it was a way that I wouldn't have been able to Google and see you were a comedian. Okay. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's Mordecai. So <laughs> Mordecai, and have fun spelling that. No, and then you. Come on. And then you took me to the comedy cellar, right. not telling me you were a comedian performing that night. Right. But that was our said, first and date. Said, and here's Modi. Yeah, but you didn't tell me that until that split second when you were walking to the stage. Right. So, oh, my yeah. God. First of all, that is so First shady. of all, you, you're leaving out the, the I picked you up in a smart car. <laughs> yeah. Red first. <laughs> that, that was a red Dang. flag, if we're being honest. But Is it a red flag? We look. We got through that. Is is being picked up in a smart car a red flag? I it's don't think so. It's not a red flag, but it's definitely. not a green flag. Yeah, it's not a green flag. <laughs> it's the cutest flag in the world. Our, our car now is a lot cuter. I didn't cuter. say that you meet me on the corner of McDougal and 3rd. You know, I said, I'll pick you up and bring you to I liked who's it. picking you up on who's picking I liked, you up in Manhattan I liked the novelty of it yes and I liked the chivalry of it mm -hmm. but I also could appreciate the comedy of it <laughs> yeah yes I picked him up when you have a smart okay I was a Bodie, smart you used to have a smart car for the record we no longer have a smart car we have an SUV so it's been a I full had, I've journey had smart cars since they came out it was the most genius thing that was ever invented. I'm, I'm in shock that all of Manhattan doesn't have one. And when I was doing spots every night, three, four spots, wherever yeah. I was, you always had a spot. You didn't have to figure in time for parking or, or, or waste money on cabs. So I had a smart car. I picked Leo up and I drove him to the comedy cell. There's always one spot that's available. Um, and I'm always there. I park. Okay. The, I know that we could go on with you for cars for a long time. <laughs> uh, that's very clever. I'm really stuck on the fact that he told you his name was Matt, and we're just kind of glossing over that. I don't know if I don't remember Matt, that, but you can we agree <laughs> for the sake of the podcast that it was not a Googleable search term you gave me. Like on purpose? I don't know about. I don't remember any of that, but I remember may, maybe. But but the first date we had. I was introduced on stage as Modi. Right, and we always like, like, who's that? Because that yeah. wasn't the name you gave him. Right, so that's, uh, that, that's, uh, I mean, how could I, Modi, and here's Modi. You must and have been Modi. in shock. I didn't know what was happening. Right, but I, 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 he was sitting I, at I had been in New York for cellar. two weeks. I didn't know a single soul. I had only been in New York like twice before that for like two weekends or something. I didn't know the city at all. And I picked him up this next night, too, and the next night. And then I just said, I, instead of me picking you up all the time, why don't you just move in here? Oh, and my God. Because I knew this was going to be the rest of the summer. And then, obviously, the rest of our lives. And so, when am I going to start picking him up from this dorm every night? 
And it wasn't only con- we did other things. We went and did all, all kinds of. No, you. I one of like the, our fourth dates was you had a gig in the Catskills, and we drove up there, and I was like, "Oh, this is where he murders me." Oh my god! Because <laughs> <laughs> we were driving in the dark in the Catskills. We're like in the dark in the mountains. There's no lights anywhere. No, actually, to preface, before this, we had gone to the Woodbury Commons outlet. Yeah. So we were shopping, and we had bought a few things, and then in the car, I go is this where you're going to murder me? And he goes, no, there's too much security camera footage of us together today at the mall. And I was like, noted. Okay. So yeah, okay. N- not tonight's not the night he <laughs> kills me. <laughs> anyway. So again, to Melina, thank you very much for the article. Anybody that sent in positive feedback, I can't thank you enough. I love you all. Um, you, anybody that sent back, see like that's Mashiach energy. And what? We forgot a very important. I know. I'm sorry, that was my fault. A and H. A and H. A and H. Um, we can uh, you put that spot in the middle too. Um, yeah. So A A A and H. Thank you very much for sponsoring this podcast. A and H kosher provisions. A and H kosher provisions. A the best. and H. A and H. A and H. Kosher Provisions, who, by the way, we've seen their products in all the kosher supermarkets in the area. Oh, really? And they're literally like when you see other hot dogs, it's like up to here. And theirs is like people just buy. They just want that's the hot dog to buy. What's their website? Kosherdogs.net. Kosherdogs.net. Thank you, a And if you use promo code Modi, you get 30% off your first order. As you should. And you know what else we have? What else? A freezer full of the hot dogs. Didn't we get those at the market? Yes. Oh, my God, yeah. So we're all set. We're all set. Um, and thank you again, everybody, if there was positive energy for this thing. Um, ModiLive.com for all the shows. We have put out a whole bunch of new shows. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of shows. The West Coast, there's shows in Vancouver, Seattle, San Francisco, L.A., the Saban Theater. That is going to be the littest show of mm-hmm. my career. Yep. Wow. I can, I can yep. just tell. Where? Yep. When? The Saban Theater. June 8th. June 8th in Beverly Hills. Your biggest run in LA. Yeah. To date. To date. So that's going to be super exciting. Montreal shows, I think, are sold out. Toronto shows are sold out. Um, Mo- Montreal Late Show, there are stu- still a, a few, few seats, seats left. left in the there in the back balcony. But basically, um, modilive.com for all of your shows. Yeah. Thank you very much for listening. I love you guys, both of you. And um, signing off. And su- 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 signing off. Thank you. Bye. Wishing you, uh, w- w- no, wishing you Mashiach energy. That's what I want to sign off with. Okay. okay. I'm going to hit the button now. Hit the button. <laughs>